Today we're looking at the Nightcore UMS4. And yes, that is a non-rechargeable battery that I just put in there. And you can recharge them. Uh, it's an alkaline battery. Um, they really don't charge well. They don't last. Uh, it's a AAA, of course. It's actually in fairly good health, as you saw. But you can charge them. It is quick charging. It's pulling 12 watts at the moment, so that's 12.2 volt, 0.1 amps. I'm using my um, pine power here just so we can see what's going on. Uh, and yeah, the battery voltage is pretty high for a 1.5 volt battery. As you could see when I put it in backwards to start with, it's not particularly happy. It doesn't like you doing that. It goes eee. Now, this is the UMS4. Um, you and, and, you, well, UMS4 by Nightcore, and I've had it for a little while now, and it's impressively good. I use it to charge everything. Now, it'll take 5 volts 2 amps, or 12 volts 1.5 amps input, which is 18 watts max if that wants to... Hmm. Maybe it's just my screen that's not showing me. 18 watts max. Uh, it will then output 4.35 volts, uh, 3.7 or any combination of voltages required really for the battery. This will support multiple different battery types. So it'll do, where have we got here on the actual website I was looking at it just before. So lithium ion is the obvious one. Uh, that's lithium polymer, lithium ion, lithium ion phosphate, nickel metal hydrate, nickel cadmium, pretty much anything else you can bang in it that it'll detect. Now, if it picks up a LiPo like an 18650, um, or was it 21700 or so that you put in that is too low a voltage, you can actually hold both the buttons and it puts into a special please save my battery mode. I'm pretty certain you hold both the buttons. I've got the manual here. Um, now, it is important to know that this is quick charge capable. As you can see, that's bumped up to 12 volts, 12.2 volts, which is excellent. It will charge a total of 4 amps across all of the slots. It'll do a maximum of 3 amps for one slot or 4 amps total for all of them. And with that, it's also got an uh, overcharge, undercharge protection built in. It won't cycle your batteries, or at least I haven't found it, but it will charge apparently a 3.5 amp hour battery to 80% in 55 minutes. Apparently that's just math though. If you've got a good battery in there that can take, say, eight, that can do eight amps and charge at close to 0.5 C or so. Now, it's also got some other cool tech that took me a little while to figure out. These little sliders here, uh, kind of tell it what battery it is. You can put it in a NICAD battery that's a bit shorter and it'll be a similar voltage and it will go, hey, I know, you know, I know what battery this is because of the length. You can also confuse it by putting uh, something in there to make it longer or shorter. And I've kind of tricked some other batteries into charging before. But the main thing is it will charge your batteries. It will do so very well. This is actually the example battery from their website. It's one of their NL1835HPs. This will do 8 amp. I use it in my super bright headlight, which I might show at another point. Don't even know what this is at, 4.12. So it's gonna start negotiating here, and you can see we've got a couple of, I can actually flick through the slots, but there's only one. It's picked up that's a lithium ion 4.2 volt battery. It's charging in a constant voltage scenario now. And then we can flick through the stats. So it's drawing 0 0.8 amps, and it's currently at 4.15 volts. It's charged three milliamps so far in zero minutes. Status is good, there's an internal resistance of 76, I think it's milliohms. Micro ohms, it'll just slowly cycle through those and you can leave a pile of batteries on charge. It is actually starting to take a bit more current too. Uh, 4.12 volts. This is a dead one. Oh, no, that's a working one. Dead ones, though, generally, a bit of magnet. Dead ones will give you some errors or have a sad time. All of these are looking pretty good. Well, that one's a bit lower. Let's take that one out, and then we'll put, get some variation in there. Now we've got a whole pile of colours. So, as we can see, oh, is that gonna see that jumps up to 12.2 volt, 0.6 amps. Uh, it's going to 0.9 amps. So it's going to start pulling some current as all of these start charging. So that's drawing 1.4 amps in slot one. 0.2 amps in slot 2, so that's probably got a high internal resistance, yeah, so that's still good. As they charge up, that reading should actually drop. You want it, you know, between 50 and 80 for a fairly healthy battery. I use some batteries that are up in the 130s, but it doesn't matter too much. Uh, slot 3. Slot 4. Yeah, so that one's really pulling some current. Let's 
chuck some of the others in and I can't even remember where I got these from and see what sort of current this thing can pull. Oh, 1.3 amps. It's jumping up to then one amp. Oh, that's an unhappy pappy. So 1.3, 1.4, 1.3, not too much. So very high internal resistance. Good. Average. Good-ish. Poor. I'm going to leave these on and just kind of let it do its thing. But long story short, that is the Nightcore UMS4. I either got this on eBay or it might have been Amazon a little while ago now, the better part of, I'd say, a year. And the reason I got it is because I go through a lot of these batteries and I also pull them out of old things like, uh, in fact, these ones, no, the orange ones that I put in the Ryobi battery I was messing around with before, I pulled out of an old Dyson stick vacuum. Some of these we get out of old laptops at work. Some of them are just freebies like this little nice one. Uh, it's another Nightcore. It doesn't have the button on top, but that's... Uh, NC18650B, NCR18650B, MH12210, I think that was another 4 amp current one or something. Super handy to have. Uh, I'll put a link below to where you can buy it, but roughly online, they're around the $65 to $85 price. Some of them come with some batteries thrown in, some don't. Their support's really good. It shipped without the batteries. I think I got a two pack of these. Stuffed if I know where I left the other one. Really got me stumped now. Um, and it works. It does what you want. And the best thing is, you can see I've labelled some of these batteries 1300 because I know they have that capacity. You can completely flatten them, put them in your headlamp or something. And you can see in here what well, they're currently charging, but how much they've charged. So really good. If you want to test their charge and discharge, you can also grab something like, ooh, like this and deplete them. Uh, this will draw a couple of amps from it until it's dead if you've got a compatible socket. I've got a couple lying around. Also has some over discharge built in, uh, so really handy. But it's not what we're showing off now, we're showing off the UNMS4. And I think Nightcore, all in all, makes some good products. If I'm happy with them, I would recommend this. This is not sponsored or affiliated, but I might eventually try to work out a deal. I'll put a link to the best listing below that I can find on Amazon or eBay. If you want to know more about it, or if you want me to try something before you buy it, let me know. Uh, this is a new ch channel still. I've got the two other channels. I've got the gaming and the cooking channel. So have a look at those if you want. I also have PayPal me and Patreon set up. So if you want to see me tinker with something or test something, feel free to let me know. This one didn't have to be too in-depth because it is a pretty simple device. But goddamn is it handy. Uh, just runs off USB. That's probably the only downfall, I'd say. I'd love if this actually had DC input, but you know, when you've got pine power, that's not a problem at all. Till next, fight, till next time, folks. I hope you learned something from this. I hope uh, you're having a great weekend. In, if you're on the East Coast, I hope you're not flooded out. Take care. I'll see you then.